Okay, dudes. Look at this. This is after one, one chemo. So I guess the chemo I'm doing now is like a lot stronger because this shit did not happen the first time. Like it's even all over my pillow. Uh, ugh. And when I take a shower, it just is all over my hands. Like look. <laughs> look at that! This is from touching it. All right, wait. Let me throw this away. Okay, so I had an idea because this shit is everywhere and it's disgusting. This is my idea. This is a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I'm gonna vacuum my head. See how that goes. All right, so let's turn it on. <laughs> I've never tried this. So, um, for your viewing pleasure, I'm gonna vacuum my head. All right, hold on. about that how come it comes out when I just touch it but it wasn't really vacuuming out that's weird all right but and then I got a new wig I don't know what I'm gonna do about this I guess it got some of it out I'm gonna have to just vacuum my head like all day today I should like call a cleaning company and tell them I need People come over and vacuum, and then just tell them it's on my head. <laughs> and see what they say. So, this is my do-rag. This is like when I'm going to go gangsta. No. You put that on first. Because that protects your head. Because these wigs have like this weird crap in it. And it can like make your, your head get really itchy. So, I'm thinking about going dark a lot this time. Last time I did a lot of blonde. So, this time I'm thinking about going mostly dark. So, this is my new wig. And it's got like a little bit of highlights at the top. I don't know. I'm thinking it looks okay. The good thing is, like, most people don't expect you to be wearing a wig, so they don't even question whether it's fake or not. So, anyway, um, I don't think the vacuuming part went all that well, but, uh, I'm not an expert at this losing my hair shit. So, alright, well, have a good day, and for those that are fighting cancer, let's keep fighting, dudes. Alright, peace out.